Hi everyone, Sarah Catherine Gutierrez here with this week's Save Yourself column. And you know, if you can't go give a state employee a hug this year because of COVID, you can still wrap them in a lot of love. And that is what today's column is meant to do. I outline what I am calling the big three benefits what every single state employee ought to both know about their benefits and potential action to be taking. So this is for sure uh, sparked because I have been finding a lot of state employees who are not understanding what is available to them and not taking these actions. So let me just go over them very quickly. First of all, the pension. Now there's really nothing to do uh, because if you're part of the pension, you're contributing even if you don't know it. So just, you know, pat yourself on the back like you are a saver, which puts you into an elite category um, among Americans. Okay, but just know I spoke to the executive director of the pension and he kept emphasizing, call up APERS, call them up, talk to one of their counselors, find out what your benefit is, find out more about you know how it's gonna play out in your retirement. This is a great opportunity for you to be able to just Take a few minutes and learn exactly how it's going to work. Second of all, the Arkansas Diamond Plan. It's housed in the Employee Benefits Division, not in APERS. So this presents a lot of confusion for state employees because, you know, you think, oh, APERS is my retirement, but then what is this other thing that's in a completely different department? It's a retirement plan too. So here's what I want you to do with the Arkansas Diamond Plan. I want you to join it. Now, some of you might be in it already because the state has an, has an auto-enroll um, program where they auto-enroll, at least kind of the recent hires, into a 3% savings rate. But you'll see from my column today, um, a lot of people have been accidentally opting out of that because there's a very convenient opt-out form um, that the state has when you're hired and so a lot of people have accidentally signed that form okay so let's fix this and let's get you into the arkansas diamond plan and i want you to save five percent of your pay into that or more and i give the reason for that number not the three percent that um, the state is auto enrolling now the beauty of the arkansas diamond plan is that you're putting money into an actual retirement account that you control that's a little bit more flexible than a pension, which is gonna pay out the same amount of money in retirement in a monthly amount. So the, the Diamond Plan just offers a lot more flexibility in retirement, and it's just a really nice tool that a lot of retirees are happy to have when they go to retire. And again, if you do that payroll deduction, similar to how it's happening on your pension, you can have this money going out and into this account and not even notice it. So that's what I love about the Arkansas Diamond Plan is it's a great way to hide some money from yourself and get a nice tax, tax deduction on that money um, at, at the same time. So I talk about some other reasons why you might want to save more into the Arkansas Diamond Plan. And um, especially for people who have spouses who are working, but they don't have their own retirement plan, this is a great way of sneaking in a little extra retirement dollars, um, you know, into, into the family. And um, again, just getting the ease of being able to save that way. I have this pro tip in there um, that, you know, we have never really seen who is eligible for this amazing tax credit, very little known one called the Savers Credit. And um, I heard from an, an incredible tax expert today that uh, she has largely seen um, that being taken advantage of more by state employees than anybody else because you might have the AGI, especially some of the head of household and the families might have that AGI requirement um, and still be paying taxes to be able to benefit from that tax credit. So amazing, you put money in and then federal government gives you a little piece of your money back. It's just a great potential deal. It's not any, a reason to save necessarily because I think so few people can get it, but it's a reason to make sure to put it on your list to ask your tax preparer when you go to file your taxes, hey, am I eligible for the savers credit? And then finally, we have um, student loans. Okay, let's huddle up, folks. The worst possible thing you can do with your student loans is ignore them. That is the worst possible thing you can do. 
And unfortunately, people are so stressed out by them that oftentimes they unintentionally put them on the back burner and pledge to themselves that they'll get to it later and never do. Please come out of the shadows and come look at your student loans because let me tell you, this is the time to be facing them. You can get in as a state employee, if you have federal student loans, you can get into the public student loan forgiveness program. This does not happen automatically. This is something you have to initiate and carry out. It is a federal program. It is not a state program. It is not something that the state is going to do for you, but it is something that the state can help you do because if you are a state employee and you are in a qualifying federal student loan program, which a lot of people are, then you can get enrolled in this public student loan forgiveness program, certify and prove that you work for the state entity And for that reason, if you then get enrolled in one of the income-driven repayment plans like IBR, payee, or repayee, where you're most likely paying less on on a monthly basis than what your 10-year amortization monthly payment would be, the difference between those two payment numbers is what ultimately gets forgiven after 10 years of on-time payments. So just think of the clock ticking every month that you are not addressing this potential program getting enrolled could be another month that you are not crediting towards that potential 10 year forgiveness. So folks, Thanksgiving is usually quiet. I want you to spend Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever you have to do, calling up these servicers, calling up the diamond plan, calling up APERS, Take this as an opportunity for you to learn more about these things that are available to you. And as always, happy saving and happy Thanksgiving, folks.